a visit by the NBC News crew in Okahanja has shown little to no change. As we observe this uncollected waste, literally a stone's throw away from dwellings, where children often play. Speaking to NBC News, an aggrieved resident of Oshetu No. 2, Rodriguez Tuseb, says unemployed young people can earn a living if they can be employed to help clean the town. Tuseb says they feel abandoned as councillors are allegedly nowhere to be seen. Our town is very filthy, like we lie idle due to unemployment. A few of us do not have qualifications, but surely collecting garbage is an odd job for everyone and does not require a qualification. Our councillors should intervene and create opportunities for us, like collecting waste, so we can avoid diseases and make our place look good. A fellow resident, Batsi Vetbien, is also dismayed that residents often walk long distances to fetch water, which is a sign that councillors are failing residents. Other countries are going forward, man. Countries like Nigeria are having free Wi-Fi all over, you see. That, those are the things that can help build the nation, man. Give us Wi-Fi. These guys are going to school. When they get assignments, they can come to the location and come. Now, when they get assignments, there's no internet service, there's no cell phone service. In some of the locations, people have to walk for eight kilometers to go fetch water. In some locations, there are no electricity. So we need, we need changes, man. Furthermore, a newly proclaimed settlement of Kundia number no. 4 and 5, close to a garbage landfill, has also angered residents, particularly community activist Laurentia Houses, who says Okahanja has shrugged off its prestigious status due to negligence. Okahanja, we used to be proud of Okahanja, really, because we used to call it um, Okahanja the garden town. But now I think let's welcome the word Okahanja the garbage town because this is a normal story for us. And this is so, so unhealthy for the people of Okahanja. The children are playing around. The uh, people are walking up and down on top of the savage water. And it is not acceptable. In May this year, Okahanja issued a five-year cleaning tender to recruit waste collectors, which has since been cancelled in an effort to help clean the town to regain its status. Kaipa Herwekanji, NBC News, Okahanja.